So hello, how are you today? It is Power Week, which means that the Power BI team has released a new Power BI desktop update. This time it is 2019, June 2019. And yesterday I covered the reporting features. Today I'm going to cover the analytics and visualization features. Okay. And uh, we will start with visualization. For the visualization feature, it says that they have the reads a personalized visual pane, I'm looking at my cheat sheet, uh, which is in preview. What is that? Okay, so we go into Power BI, and if you see here on these three dots, you have the possibility to import custom visuals from the marketplace. Uh, here you have Microsoft developed, own developed custom visuals, and you have also a third party. And the blue thing, it means that they are certified it means that microsoft has gone through the code and approved it okay so if we import let's import the word cloud you know i wish that we didn't have to push in here but once you write it will just search so here we have the word cloud i'm going to import it and what you will see is that it creates a line and then below the line it adds all the custom visuals. So there is a separation between custom visuals and out of the box visuals. And I really like that. I think it's a neat feature. I think it, the fact that you're using custom visuals should be highlighted in case that somebody needs to review them for security reasons. And this makes it super, super clear. Now there is something else that they added and it is the possibility to pin the most frequent used visuals in here. Uh, so every time you open Power BI, you don't have to import them anymore. So for example, I use the word cloud very, very often. If you, if I right click here and click on pin to, a, to visualization pane, it'll move up there and it will live within my Power BI ecosystem, which I think is brilliant for Power BI as a Microsoft own develop visuals. I have a list of the visuals I want to import. I'm going to have the work cloud, the text filter, read the chart, power apps, polls. I love the polls one, just for some neat, not for the everyday use, but there are some neat applications. And the thing I like about it, this very, very much is that, you know, when, when you're doing visualizations, I, I always, at least for me, I always look at the visualization pane. I say, okay, what visualizations are available? And sometimes I forget that, you know, I have a marketplace with Microsoft developed visuals, that's the ones that I use, that perhaps could tell a better story if I use them. So there is a tornado, but I don't like the way it has been formatted, but, it, but it otherwise it's a great visual. And I can now pin them here, so I have them in mind when I'm creating my report. And I think it is a fantastic feature. Um, where the negatives for me is the, the fact that you can pin here things that maybe have not been certified. So there are like, it could be like some security risks depending on which visual you are importing. So certified visuals uh, are supposed to be checked so they don't leak any data. So just so you know, so if you're, if you're going to pin something, Microsoft, they do have the, 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 your data anyway, so why bother? You can use any of them. If they otherwise use certified, uncertified visuals, be careful, okay? So, great feature. I am going to expand my visualization pane for sure with Microsoft developed visuals, that's for sure. Which, which visuals are you going to pin? Let me know in the comment box, I would love to know, because maybe I find the visual that I didn't know about, okay? So, share. Now, once I've seen this, my second thought, it was like, oh, if I can pin a visual, why can I not pin my theme or my customer theme? So, you know, for me, maybe it's not going to be like super useful because every Power BI file I do, I have a new theme. You know, there's a, I create a theme always for each customer. So I won't be able to pin like that. But, you know, when I'm working intensively with a customer, I can actually pin that. And it just will make my life a little bit easier. But for sure, for sure, for sure, it will make my customer's life easier. Because I created themes and think if the theme could be pinned and made default 
on Power BI. So everybody across the organization will use that theme seamlessly. Oh, I want that feature. I want that feature very, 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 very much. Please, Microsoft. I mean, if you can pin the visual, you can pin a theme. I'm, I, why wouldn't you? <laughs> so I hope it comes. Okay, moving along. I cannot stop at this. But um, the next, uh, when it comes to the analytics, the key influencer visual has got an update. It means that now you can use Power BI data sets uh, with it. You couldn't do it before, so the key influencers works now with Live Connect uh, sources. And they have done some accessibility improvements. I think that it's absolutely great that Microsoft is actually taking the time to make Power BI accessible. Uh, I review it very, very badly. I, I have an ambition to create a video on accessibility features, but that requires time because I haven't been up to date with that. So I will do it as soon as I find the time for sure. Let me know if you would like to have it also. So that will, you know, boost my drive to actually do it. Um, what else? Yeah, when it comes to the key influencer visuals, I did a video on that. I'm not sure I the review was like 100% it was when it, when it came out, but I, I think, here's the thing, I think I should create a new uh, review on the key influencers visual. Uh, so go through the features and, you know, because the first video was when it first came out, there's a lot of, a little bit more understanding from my side of what it can do. And I really think it deserves its own video. So this is all for today. For tomorrow, we're going to do a review on the Share and Certify datasets. I think it's going to be a great, great feature. And uh, then it will be DAX, obviously the DAX update. So I'll see you again tomorrow. Let me know which visuals you're planning to feed into your Power BI desktop. And take care. Bye.